Hello and welcome to The Update. I'm Heidi Tiltons. Novak Djokovic's dad has decided to give Melbourne Park a miss for the Australian Open semi-final after copping heavy criticism for posing with pro-Putin demonstrators earlier in the week. Sergeant Djokovic has released a statement saying he had no intention of causing any headlines or disruption and is only here to support his son. The Prime Minister is hitting out at groups opposing the Indigenous voice to Parliament, calling them radicals. A new opinion poll shows 80% of Indigenous people support the advisory body, but some some activists believe a treaty will do more to improve outcomes for First Nations Australians. Anthony Albanese says only a small minority are against the voice. It's not a radical proposition, so I'm not surprised that some radicals are opposed to it because this is a mainstream proposition. This is a modest and gracious request for reconciliation a campaign's being launched to nominate more teachers for an Order of Australia medal. Only one educator has been recognised in this year's Australia Day Honours. Education Minister Jason Clare is urging communities to give teachers the acknowledgement they deserve. I think we can all remember the name of a teacher who taught us. Can't remember much when you're five years old, but most of us remember our teacher's name. Somebody who shaped us, who changed us, who helped to make us the person that we are today. Liberal Senator Linda Reynolds is taking Brittany Higgins' partner David Shiraz to court over defamatory tweets. Ms Reynolds' lawyers have filed a court order in WA's Supreme Court against Shiraz, claiming the former press gallery journalist posted two tweets last year that defamed her. Australians are increasingly dobbing in social media influencers for misleading their followers. More than 100 of them will be subject to an ACCC investigation. The consumer watchdog is cracking down on users making false statements when promoting products online. And a mini bus size asteroid has passed by Earth in one of the closest encounters ever recorded. The space rock known as 2023 BU whipped over the southern tip of South America. The closest it got was around 3,500 kilometres from Earth, which is closer than some satellites. In sport, the Perth Scorchers will be missing some of its key players for tomorrow's quarter final against the Sydney Sixers. Jai Richardson and Seema Matt Kelly have both been ruled out. The AFL's made a tweak to the the rule interpretation for standing on the mark ahead of the 2023 season. A 50-metre penalty will no longer be applied where a player fakes a handball while behind the mark. And LeBron James has been named in the NBA's All-Star Game for a record equaling 19th time. The 38-year-old LA Lakers star will captain one of the teams for a sixth year in a row. In entertainment news, Britney Spears has called out fans for invading her privacy after police were called to her Calabasas home. The pop star is taken to Twitter telling fans they went too far by calling officers for a welfare check when she deactivated her Instagram account. Taylor Swift has seemingly stolen ex-boyfriend John Mayer's thunder and teasing the release of her new music video for Lavender Haze on the same day Mayer announced his first ever solo acoustic tour. The announcements came within five minutes of each other and Rick Astley has filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit against a US rapper claiming his hit single Never Gonna Give You Up was ripped off. Young Gravy used an impersonator for his 2022 single Betty, but apparently had only sought licensing for the instrumentals. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team, but we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.